So far, the state says there have been few instances of intimidation or harassment at polling places, but today, Karen Brinson Bell, state director, issued a stern warning. It is also a crime to interfere with election officials carrying out their duties. Punishments include prison time and or fines. Law enforcement is aware of the level of threat that we could face, particularly as a battleground state with so much attention on us. Which is why Wake County Sheriff Willie Rowe is adjusting his deputy's schedules on Election Day. We're modifying our shifts so that uh, during the hours of operation as well later into the evening when the tabulation process will be going ongoing. Law enforcement can't directly be on a polling site. That security is first handled by the chief judges, but law enforcement will be standing by. In a time when you got a bulk of people congregating, uh, that's a challenge. We have worked with our federal partners to conduct what we call safe assessments. Those are physical security assessments at all the county offices. There are some offices that have installed panic buttons. Others needed to reconfigure their entry space. North Carolina is one of the few states with a dedicated investigations division at the state board, which investigates reports of fraud and other irregularities.